Hello everyone, in this video tutorial we are going to discuss enzymes introduction, mechanism and properties in a very simplified manner. So let's start the video. The biological processes that occur within all living organisms are chemical reactions and most of these chemical reactions are regulated by enzymes. Now what are enzymes? Enzymes are proteinaceous in nature, means they are protein molecules that have catalytic property, means they act as a catalyst. There are many proteins and it is not necessary that all proteins have catalytic property. Those proteins which act as catalyst, they are known as enzyme. So we can say that all enzymes are proteins but all proteins are not enzyme. I hope now you can easily justify this statement. We know that protein molecules are biomolecules, right? And these protein molecules act as catalyst. So enzymes are also known as biocatalyst. Now what do you mean by a catalyst? Catalyst is a substance that can be added to a reaction to increase the reaction rate without getting consumed in the process, right? Which means catalyst speeds up the metabolic reactions taking place in the living system without undergoing any alteration in them. And the process through which reaction rate is increasing by adding catalyst is known as catalysis, right? As we discussed, enzymes are protein molecules that act as a biocatalyst. And enzymes are capable of catalyzing chemical reaction in the living cells at high rate. Enzymes basically speed up chemical reaction by lowering the activation energy. They reduce the activation energy needed for that chemical reaction. So in this way enzyme functions. There were two French chemists at a sugar factory. They found an active agent in malt extract which could convert starch into simple sugars. In 1833, the active agent was isolated and named as diastase. Now diastase is known as amylase. And it is noteworthy that use of suffix "-ase", for the nomenclature of enzymes, was started from the name diastase. Later on in 1878, a German physiologist, Wilhelm Kuhne, first introduced the term enzyme when he was explaining the capability of yeast to feed upon sugars and produce alcohol. Enzyme is a Greek word which means within the yeast. Now how enzymes work? Suppose this is an enzyme and this region is known as active site. Active sites are the regions in the enzymes where substrates molecules are allowed to bind and perform a particular function. Thus, it forms a weak interaction, a temporary interaction between the active site of the enzyme and the binding site of the substrates. Enzymes have a region where amino acid residues are arranged in one or more polypeptide chains. By folding and bending of these polypeptide chains, a peculiar 3D structure is formed which is known as active site. If we talk about substrates, substrates are the molecules upon which enzyme acts. For example, maltase is an enzyme. Maltase acts upon maltose. Maltose is a sugar which acts as a substrate for maltase enzyme. When maltase acts upon maltose, it produces two glucose units. The mechanism of enzyme action is based on a chemical reaction where enzyme binds to the substrate molecule followed by formation of an enzyme substrate complex or ES complex. Enzyme substrate complex is also known as transition state complex. When substrate binds to 
enzyme molecule there is a conformational change in the active site of enzyme molecule the enzyme gets back to the native position when the products are dissociated now what are the properties of enzyme enzymes have high specificity and remarkable efficiency to act upon a specific substrate and convert it into a desired product enzymes and substrates are compatible to each other right and they are specific to each other if they do so only then they are allowed to form enzyme substrate complex and convert the substrate into desired product for example for lipid hydrolysis lipid is a substrate and the enzyme which is specific for it is lipase now lipase act on lipid and form fatty acids and glycerol as products enzymes speed up metabolic reactions without undergoing any alteration in them as we know that enzymes are biological catalyst and this is the property of the catalyst that catalyst do not react themselves in the chemical reaction but instead they speed up the chemical reaction so enzymes only increases the rate of chemical reaction but they do not undergo any alteration in them so after the product formation enzyme is again ready to act upon new substrate molecules and form new products as we have discussed that enzymes increases the rate of chemical reactions without undergoing any alteration in them so enzyme is not changed by chemical reaction after the product formation they are recovered to participate in other reactions enzyme is again ready to act upon new substrate molecules so only small amounts of enzymes are needed in the cell as the same enzyme molecule can be used again and again as we know that enzymes are protein molecules and when protein molecules exposed to unfavorable conditions like high temperature high or low ph then protein molecules start degrading and this process is called protein denaturation now denatured protein loses its functionality similarly when enzyme is subjected to excessive temperature or high or low ph ionizing radiations the enzyme become denatured as they are made up of protein molecules the proteins become denatured now the enzyme activity is totally reduced it reduces the enzyme's ability to catalyze the reactions altogether so under favorable conditions under optimum temperature and ph enzyme work more rapidly so that's all for today thanks for watching i hope you like this video thank you